Now we're coming to a more advanced concept when it comes to journaling. And we want to talk about strategy refinement. And we want to see how we can take our current strategies and tweak individual parameters. So the goal is that we end up with larger winners through an improved take profit placement. We want to see if we can achieve higher R multiples, maybe through closer stop loss placement. And we can look at adjusting trade parameters through strategy testing. So let's get into the journal. So at first, let's explore a new chart. In chart lab, we go to exit analysis. And here we have a new chart that we haven't talked about before in this journaling course. What do we see here? So it's important to note that every bar here, the green and the red part together, stands for one trade. At the top, you can see we have a horizontal line in green that represents the take profit. And here we have a red horizontal line, which represents the stop loss of your trade. And the bars visualize the price movement of that trade. What we can see is that on that trade, the market moved against you, didn't quite make it 50% towards your stop loss. And then the highest price that was noted on that trade is here at the top of the green bar. And then this black diamond marker marks the trade exit. And by that, we can gain so many insights about our trades. Let's look at a few other bars. So what we can see in this trade, for example, the price only moved a little bit in the favor for the trader and then moved against the trader. And the trader even closed the trade beyond the stop loss. So there was an issue with trade execution here. The trader let the price run beyond the stop loss, probably taking out the stop loss manually, hoping that the price might turn around. And then the trade was closed here too late. When we hover over this bar, what we can see is that we have two metrics, the drawdown and the updraw. The updraw is the green part here. It shows you how many percentages has the price moved in your favor towards your target. Here, for example, we see 34%, which means 34% the price moved to your target. On the other hand, what we can see here is a drawdown of minus 130%. This means that the price exceeded the stop loss and closed even lower. When a trade is closed at the stop loss, you will see that the drawdown is exactly minus 100%. When a trade is closed right at the target, the updraw is at 100%. So we can gain a lot of interesting insights. Let's go back to the journal and let's revisit the gold trade that we have been working on in this course. So we open this and then what we can see is that we had an entry price at 2200. The exit was at 2300. The take profit was at 2400. Our stop loss was at 2100. So how do we unlock the exit analysis graph? For that, we need to go to the advanced trade data. And here are two input fields, highest price and lowest price. So we need to enter values for the highest and the lowest price in order for the exit analysis graph to work. So how do you do that? What we recommend is that after you exit the trade, you pick a fixed window. It can be, for example, for day traders, you follow the price until the end of the day, and then you write the highest price for that day and the lowest price for that day. If you're more of a longer term trader, you can choose to write down the highest and the lowest prices for a given week when the trade was on. So you can see we selected OTP hit no, which means the price didn't hit our target. So let's assume we bought at 22, we exited at 23, the price didn't make it all the way to 24, but let's assume the price made it almost to the take profit at 23.50. And by the way, a question that often comes up, do you have to flip this around for buy and sell trades? No, it's always the absolute highest. It's always the absolute lowest price of the trade and of the price action. And now let's say we entered at 2200. The stop loss was at 2100. The price didn't make it towards the stop loss. We only had a very minimal drawdown of 2180. Okay, so now we have entered that. We can click save. And now we can go back to the exit analysis. And this is now our gold trade. We can confirm that. We just click on the bar. And you can see this is the gold trade that we just edited. What we see is that the price moved in our favor. And as we said, we didn't catch quite the top, but here you can see that's the diamond marker. That's where we went out and we only had a very minimal drawdown. So an only 20% drawdown and the price did make it 75% to your target. All right, so what does this tell you? You want to look for patterns in this graph. Do you consistently see that the price is overshooting your target? Like in those examples here, 
then your take profit placement might be a little bit too conservative and you could potentially by setting your target a little bit further away increase your R multiple and achieve higher winning trades however this needs to be done really with care and that's why i said it's more of an advanced feature and an advanced concept because moving around stop loss and take profit orders can have significant impacts on your trading performance and how trades play out so first of all you want to make sure that you can really actually observe patterns in the exit analysis it's not just single trades that spike higher but you want to find many multiple or maybe even most trades that run past your take profit in order to increase the chances of improving your system on the other hand when you see that on many trades or maybe even on most trades the price on the updraw doesn't come close to your stop loss then you might be able to move your stop loss on your trades a little bit closer than you normally would what does this do it also improves your reward to risk ratio a smaller stop loss with the same take profit will also increase your reward to risk ratio again you need to do this really with care because just by moving your stop loss closer to your trade without having the confirmation from your data can easily break your trading strategy because the closer the stop loss is to your entry price the easier it is for the price to hit the stop loss so this really needs to be done with care but the exit analysis graph is a great way to get a completely new and deeper understanding of the price action about your order placement and how things are going on this front the second feature that we can use in edgewonk when it comes to strategy refinement is our alternative strategies so under strategy lab we have here the sub feature alternative strategies so what is an alternative strategy often traders have an existing trading strategy and they want to explore different variations of that strategy for example you want to test how an earlier entry might perform how a more aggressive stop loss might perform how a trailing stop loss might perform or any other variation that you can think of in edgewonk we made it super easy for you to explore those variations and what you do here is you just add a new alternative strategy then you give it a name ideally the name helps you to identify your alternative strategy very easily later on and then here you pick a setup what is the strategy that you want to explore further what is the strategy alternative that you want to test so for example we can say okay we want to test all of our retest trades for example and then what you get is here on the left a list with all of the retest trades so you can see we have 10 trades that have been taken in the actual trading journal with the retest setup attached and then here we have two columns for the profit alt and our multiple alt so here in the first two columns that's the performance of your actual trades and this is the performance of the alternative strategy so what you do is that you go through each trade one by one and you examine how the outcome would have been if you would have used a different stop loss approach or another strategy variation we recommend to write down here the ideas that you are testing and the exact parameters because then later you can come back to your trading alternatives and you can easily remember what you tested here and you can see how it performed for example we can go to here to the early breakout and we see it in action what we did on the setup breakout we want to test an earlier entry and instead of waiting for the price to close above or below the breakout level we want to take an entry when the breakout is happening so maybe mid candle instead of waiting for the candle to close so here in the first two columns we see the actual profit that's the profit that the trade actually generated in your real time trading and then here we have the column for the alternative strategy and you go through each trade one by one and you examine how would the trade have been performed would you have listened and would you have adhered to the new rule and then you just write it down and then you can compare the two lines we also get the breakdown here in the table directly so we have six trades in total here we have the profit of the strategy how it actually performed and here we have the strategy alternative and you can see there's a slight difference it's 1049 versus 1130 us dollar so not a big difference it's a slight improvement in this of the strategy so that's good it's not making the strategy worse so this is something that a trader 
might explore more and further on to see if there's really a way to significantly improve the strategy going forward. So the alternative strategies are a great way to quickly and easily, without a lot of effort, to test different variations of your strategy. And a lot of traders are always wondering, what if? What would happen if I did something else in my trading? What would happen if I changed some parameters? And now with the alternative strategies, you can tackle those questions, you can answer them, and then you can get the real hard data for whether the change that you always wanted to do is actually improving or worsening your trading performance.